What's going on y'all? The Brandon Bronson here. So, I didn't really plan on making a video tonight. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm back from Reno. Uh, tonight was supposed to be nothing but editing. Um, I wanted my next video to be something like really happy and energetic and kind of a, uh, yay, it's good to be back. But, uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, as I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, uh, this is about the passing of Robin Williams. I'm not gonna go that deep into it, because every news site and every other YouTuber is doing a video on it, but to give you the skinny of it, um, Robin Williams, uh, was found dead this morning, um, at the age of 63, and it appears that, um, his death was, uh, suicide. Um... And instead of talking about the news story itself, I wanted to kind of talk about how this affects me and all of that shit. Um, I'm not going to make it sound like I grew up on Robin Williams movies. I mean, um, I, I've seen a good number of them. You know, I grew up watching Aladdin. I grew up uh, loving Jumanji. I remember in kindergarten, that was one of my favorite movies. Um... Mrs. Doubtfire was one I got into a little later, but, uh, for the most part, Robin Williams, uh, his movies have been on my to-watch list. Um, like, I've never seen Dead Poet Society, I've never seen Patch Adams, I've never seen, uh, Good Morning Vietnam. Um, how this affects me is, um, when I was getting into stand-up comedy and improvisational comedy, and once I decided that one of the things I'd be happy uh, doing for a living is making people laugh, uh, when I came to that realization, obviously I started watching a lot of improvisational comedy, a lot of whose line is it anyway, a lot of stand-up comedians. And one of the people who I was really gravitating to was Robin Williams. Um, I, I loved his energy. I loved his energetic style. Um... Being a guy of my size, I can't really emulate a lot of the things that he does because he's all over the fucking place. Um, but I appreciated, uh, I, I appreciate, I'm sorry, uh, not, didn't really plan on making this video. Um, I, I appreciated his energy and I, I appreciated how fucking funny he was. I mean, the guy was always, like, at the top of his game. Uh, there aren't many, at least when it comes to stand-up and improvisational comedy, there aren't many situations where a joke of his fell flat or an improvisational skate fell flat. Um, he was just always at the top of his game. Uh, which makes the manner of his death... Um, that much shittier. Um, you know, if you look at the history of stand-up comedy, a lot of the best comedians uh, suffered from depression and faced a lot of personal demons, uh, whether those demons come in the form of alcoholism or drug addiction or this, that, and the other thing. And a lot of great comedians end up dead in the most tragic of ways. And... Um, the irony is not lost on me, um, in a sick way that's kind of funny. Like, the final punchline in a lot of comedians' lives is that they spent their entire life uh, trying to make people laugh when, in the end, they found themselves in uh, the darkest place imaginable. Um, you know, it, it, it's fucked, and... I wish that that wasn't the case. It hurts a lot, especially um, considering how much I idolize uh, some of these people and how badly I want to uh, do what they do. It sucks knowing that once the cameras are off or once the microphone's put down and they're backstage, they're a fucking train wreck. They spend their entire careers making us feel better about their lives, yet when they need it, they have nothing, or they have alcohol, or they have drugs, and, um... It, it's just shitty. It's shitty. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and try and wrap this up because I'm getting a little bit more emotional than I thought I would. Um, if there's one thing uh, to be learned from something like this, it's take care of your loved ones. You know, make sure that your loved ones know that they are loved, that they are cared about. Because on one hand, you never really know what's going through someone's mind 24-7. Um, in a lot of cases, when people are dealing with severe depression, they learn how to hide that really well. They learn how to mask that. They learn how to appear normal. Um, and this is something I speak from experience with. Uh, and on the other hand, even if mentally they are okay and they're not on drugs and they're not drinking and they're not depressed with the possibility of suicide, um, you never really know when somebody's gonna go. At any time, any of us are a second away from death. Uh, for all I know, someone's about to fire through that window and a bullet's about to go through my head, or this entire building's going to collapse and I'll be gone in a second. And some freak accident like that could happen to any of us at any time. Um... So hug your loved ones a little tighter. Let people know how you feel about them. Um, because you never fucking know what's going to happen. You never know when somebody's going to go. Um, so I guess that's all I had to say about that. Robin Williams, rest in peace, man. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, Brandon Brownson. Signing out.